joining us today. My name is Jennifer and I am part of the marketing team at jobs.ac.uk. Today I'm chatting to Ryan Powell from the University of Derby. Welcome Ryan, could you tell us a little bit about your role at the university? Yeah, hi there Jennifer. Um, so yeah, my name's Ryan Powell and I manage the operations and response centre team uh, within IT services at, at the University of Derby. Um, so within this team, we provide uh, the network services for the whole university, um, so all campuses, um, internet and phone services. Um, we also manage the, the endpoints as well, so uh, Windows, Mac and mobile devices. Okay, well that sounds great. Um, could you tell me a little bit about how you came to work in, in higher education, a little bit about your career background? Yeah, sure. Um, so I've always been interested in education, uh, right back to when I was little. I used to kind of try and go in and help at schools um, and just, yeah, just, I've always wanted to. So um, it was really what I was going to do for, for all of my life. So um, I graduated uni in 2013. Um, I did go to a, uh, a Cisco partner, a managed service provider for a couple of years, but I, I think I very quickly realised that wasn't really the job for me and I managed to get myself back into education more through luck than anything initially that I had a friend working here who who just contacted me out of the blue and said, are you, are you looking for work? We've got some jobs going. Um, and I jumped into it and thought, yes, that's exactly what I want to do. So um, took an interview, thought, wow, that sounds like the place I want to be. And here I am four years later, still going. Wow, I mean, you know, it sounds like like it's a great place to work and that you've really found something great in, in working in higher education. So um, could you just chat to us a little bit about how you think working in higher education compares to working in, in the commercial sector? Yeah, so I think a lot of people maybe think sometimes that, that education is maybe more relaxed, but um, I can say it definitely isn't. So you get that <laughs> fast paced environment that I think quite a lot of people want anyway. So um, for myself personally, I want, you know, a, a, a very fast paced environment, things are always changing and, and higher education definitely, definitely provides that. Um, we always kind of say to people that we're talking to that it's like a whole world just within one little bubble. So we've got um, NHS systems for, for health, we've got engineering and manufacturing products and systems, uh, catering and hospitality. So yeah, we've almost got the entire world just within our campuses. And I think that's one of the things I love about it, that, yeah, I can have a conversation with an academic looking at, uh, I don't know, a problem with Visual Studio. And then immediately after that, I'm talking to, to catering and about some new tour system or, or hospitality management system that they want to introduce. Um, yeah, that's, that's what I love most. It, it's so varied. Um, no two days are the same. Yeah, look, I mean, it really sounds like like a diverse, um, exciting environment to be in. Would you say that your job is is rewarding or is it meaningful? Oh, yes, definitely. Um, just to, you know, to see the students coming through the education system um, that first day when they arrive as first years, um, fresh is fair and, and induction and enrollment. And, you know, you see them through that, that three or four year program and coming out as, as confident graduates at the end. I don't think there's anything more rewarding than that, especially and being a part of that, whether it's kind of in 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 a back office doing the networking and the computers for them or on the front line helping them with uh, you know here's a direction to this particular room or let me change your password for you. Just being any part of that, I think, is rewarding enough. Yeah, and I guess you wouldn't really find that anywhere other than in in a university or in some education educational institution. Yes, yeah, certainly. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, could so I've heard from many people that um, working in a university, they've had great development opportunities. Could you maybe highlight some of the development opportunities that you've had since you've been working at the University of Derby? Yes, yeah, certainly. So when I joined the team uh, four years ago, I came in as a, a desktop engineer. Um, within my first couple of months of being there, I had the opportunity to fly out to America. Um, and we were looking at a, a product for managing our, our Mac estate um, through my background in, in other work. Um, I had a bit of background with it. So I said, oh, yeah, here, here's this product. We could go and have a look at it. And yeah, at the time they said, yeah, sure. They, oh, look, there's a conference on. Let's fly you out, have a little look, come back to us, write a report. And if it's right for us, we'll go for it. Um, so that was one of the, the opportunities. And then um, as I kind of progressed up the ladder um, through to a senior engineer um, and then eventually into management, I've had further opportunities to um, to get involved in 
I actually did a, a case study a couple of months ago uh, for another product for, for managing access rights to our computer systems. And through that, again, um, I was flying out to America to, to attend their conference, give a little bit of a video interview and a testimonial. And then uh, I got to stay and listen to the conference and the keynote as, as part of that. So it's it's not all kind of flying out and, and doing these kind of things. We've also had in-house training. So um, I've had a week in a, in a classroom with some of the other guys and girls in the team to, to have a look at a, a Cisco phone system. We've had the, the training opportunities are endless almost. Wow, that sounds fantastic. I mean, it really does sound like you've had some great opportunities there. Um, one of the other opportunities that is is quite unique to working in a university is having access to the university campus and all of the facilities that it has on offer. Could you tell me a little bit about your experience with those on campus facilities? Is there um, are there places that you frequent or that you use quite quite often? Yeah, uh, well, certainly the coffee shop. Um, I think <laughs> we we could uh, kind of well when we're back on campus, we we normally come in in the morning and round about half past eight. There's a little message goes around on the Microsoft Teams channel. Um, we've got a group called Coffee, and someone will post a little coffee emoji, and within a few minutes, we're all down at the coffee shop saying good morning and grabbing our our drink. Um, and that's just a good place to kind of socialise, get an idea of, of who's in um, and any problems that we're looking at. It, it's just a very informal morning meeting nowadays. Um, aside from that, it, it's brilliant to just be able to go to the library. Obviously, we can we can take books out and um, DVDs and anything else that, that the library and the, the resource centre offer. So definitely take opportunity for that and, and read whatever you want to, whatever you can. Could you tell me a little bit more about about the campus and and what it's like working at a university campus? Yes, certainly. So for ourselves, um, our Derby campus is split across a couple of sites within the, the main Derby city centre kind of ring road. So our Kediston Road site is, is our biggest site and has the, the main library and learning centre facilities. But we also have several other sites that we can go to and it's within a short walk. So it's all very convenient to, to come down and we have a bus route and um, free bus travel for, for staff and students. So we can just jump on a bus or have a walk through um through the park to get there so it's all lovely um I'm trying to think what else to say if i'm honest <laughs> no that sounds, I mean, that <laughs> sounds <right>. <laughs> um and what is it that you like most about working at a university i think it, it's definitely the, di the diversity of people on site it, it is a very busy vibrant environment and like i say just walking through the, the main atrium and you can see or the, the groups of, of staff and students to get together, having lunch, um, talking, meeting, um, will sometimes deliberately hold a, a kind of a team meeting or a management team meeting down in the atrium. So we can just be amongst the, the hustle and bustle of everybody. Um, for ourselves in IT, it's also a great way to, to just see or kind of hear of any problems. So you might just, we might just sit at a table and you can see a little group of students next to you going, oh, the wireless isn't working. And we can have a quick look and go, oh, you know, don't worry, we can have a quick look at your computer for you you let's sort it for you here and now and save your trip to the service center to get that resolved so it's just yeah it is a brilliant way to to hear of any problems and get them fixed before it becomes an issue for, for a staff or a student and that's brilliant and quite unique so instead of being stuck in an office all day you actually get to go out there and talk to the people who who you provide the service for um, yeah definitely i think sometimes um you get the perception that it kind of sit in the basement and, and don't ever ever leave but for ourselves we definitely don't want to do that and we we make an effort to be out there um we hold um kind of information stands every couple of months within the atrium or across some of our other sites and it's just an opportunity for students to come up to us um ask any question about IT that they think, you know, so it could be, can you help me connect to the wireless? It could be, oh, I've never quite understood how this bit of a, a program works. Can you have a look with me? And it just means, again, we can get out there, show the, the friendly face of IT and that we're not just the, yeah, the, the, the goblins that sit in the basement. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that, that paints a very different picture of what I think a lot of people do think about when, yeah, when definitely. they think about a career in IT. It sounds actually very exciting. Um, what has your has been your career highlight while you've been working at at the university, and why? <laughs> um, so I think certainly it is just the um, the opportunity to to make that difference. So um, 
like I mentioned when I first came in and was asked to have a look at managing the, the Mac estate at the time, it it was one where there was a lot of complaints from students that things were difficult to use, um, there were lots of problems and just having the opportunity to come in, have a look what they're seeing and then making that um, that solution to resolve it for them and then again hearing the the feedback from academic colleagues to say wow that it's never been more stable it's you know students are working much better now and it's really made a positive um, positive impact to their to their education. Oh that sounds fantastic um so would you recommend uh working in IT in in higher education? Yeah I couldn't recommend it more to be honest um it's it's not something that I'd ever say, oh, don't even give it a try. I've, I've had lots of friends that have said, oh, just come to university, um, have a look at it, see what you think. And they've all gone, wow, that's a that's a brilliant environment. It, it is so busy, so vibrant. Um, there's people everywhere and you can just feel, although it's busy, it's a very family um, community feeling. And yeah, I, I don't, I couldn't think of another environment that even matches it. Oh, that sounds fantastic. Um, so last question for you today, for anybody who's considering a career in IT and higher education, what are your tips or, or do you have any advice um, for those people? Um, I think just follow your dream and follow your heart. Um, yeah, if you want to kind of, if you want to make a difference, if you want to see um, the next generation growing and maturing, definitely get in, have a look, um, and I don't think you'll regret it. That sounds brilliant. Ryan, thank you so much for your time today. We really appreciate you joining us and That's giving okay. us your perspective on working in IT and higher education. And uh, for anybody who's considering it, as Ryan said, higher education is a great place to, to be. So think about moving your career into, into a university or into higher education. Thanks so much for joining us today and good luck with your job search.